tired of seeing that fail to create D3D device ever pop up when you try to launch CS2 on your rig? No sweat, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll walk you through some fixes to get it sorted. So let's dive right in without any delays. Solution 1. Delete corrupt Steam cache. First, click on the system tray icon, then right click on the Steam icon and select Exit Steam. After that, right click on the Steam shortcut from your desktop and Select open file location from here. Now scroll up and find the Apache folder. Then delete it. Now open up CS2 and check if that did the trick for you. Solution 2 Use launch options. To do this, open up Steam. Next, switch to the library tab. Then right click on Counter Strike 2 from here and select properties. Now in the launch options field, type in hyphen allow underscore third underscore party underscore software, close the tab and check if you can open the game. If not, go to the properties again. Now clear out the launch options field, type in hyphen dx11 and close the tab and check if that did the trick for you. If that fails, try out hyphen dx12 in place of hyphen dx11 and see if that helps. If nothing worked, try out hyphen forest hyphen opengl and hyphen forest hyphen vulcan and check if that solves the issue. Solution 3. Check integrity of CS2 game files. For this one, open Steam again. Next, switch to the library tab. Then right click on Counter Strike 2 from here and select properties. After that, switch to the installed files tab. Now, click the verify integrity of game files button and Steam should start verifying and repairing game files. After that, check if you can open the game or not. Solution 4. Update your graphics driver. You can update it in three ways. Using Windows Update, from Device Manager, or downloading it from the device manufacturer's website. Method 1. To update your graphics driver from the Windows Update, open Settings. Then click on Windows Update. And then click on Check for Update. Now, Windows will update any outdated driver, including your graphics driver. Method 2. However, if there are no updates found here, you have to use the device manager. To do this, type device manager in the search box and click to open it. Then click on the little arrow in front of display adapters to expand it. Next, right click on your graphics card name and select update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. Device Manager will update your graphics driver if there are any available updates. After it finishes, close the tab. Method 3. You can also visit your graphics card manufacturer's website and download the updated graphics card driver from here. After downloading and installing the latest driver, reboot your computer and the issue should be fixed. If not, a simple reinstallation can do the trick too. So that's how you fix the fail to create D3D device error in Counter-Strike 2 on your PC. If the video helped you sort out the issue, smash that like button. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you real soon. Thanks for watching.